Hi, Scorpios. Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments merging timelines with me, Melanie. This is your weekly reading from the 7th to the 11th of October. These readings are always intended for the sun and moon signs. So if you have sun or moon in Scorpio, hopefully you will gain some truth, some clarity, some guidance today from this reading. Scorpio, let's see what your angel message has to say for this week coming up. You have a bright idea on your mind. You're on to something. Sagittarian season is going to bring this <clears throat> full understanding to this bright idea that you hear or you feel or you see right now. Hear, feel, see right now. Scorpios are on to something. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. So whether you got this outside gardening or outside at the gym. You know, those little thoughts that pop into our mind as we're on the treadmill and as we're sitting in our car listening to, <clears throat> I don't know, listening to the radio, right? And so the idea popped in your head, something like that, and you're wondering, when am I going to start seeing all these things come into fruition? Here it is. Yes, your idea is divinely guided, and please take action to bring it to fruition. So Sagittarian season's about action. It's about rush. It's about if you can notice um, how scorpions, everyone's going wackos or crazy, loco during that time frame is because we're all trying to rush and get our gifts or you know, meet the expectations of society's implemented distractions. So just like that is how you're going to have to swiftly put out this energy, use this feeling, put out the energy to manifest during this, during this time, okay? So think about yourself shopping like a Sagittarian. They're distracted, they're mutable, it takes very... Um, little to keep them distracted you know they take they're they're easily distracted because they're so mutable is what I'm saying it takes very little for them to be um, distracted <clears throat> all right so I'm gonna cut the deck for these last three and we're gonna talk about them Sag First out the deck, though, you have the disappointment. Pisces season, you could have been dealing with the Pisces, but in March time frame, you're disappointed in love. There was a loss of dream, a loss of desire when it came to the fairy tale. Your heart wanted or needed or had to move to a calmer way of thinking, so you created a consistent thought or Let's say that you dove deep into those positive affirmations and that's all you could depend on were the words that you fed your mind to create better um, days for yourself because you were so disappointed or so let down with the person that you're dealing with if they were a water sign or just a male who disappointed you. That's up to you. But I see that right now you could be dealing with an air sign or you could be dealing um, <clears throat> air sign Gemini in particular, but if not, there's Libra, there's Aquarius, but there's a person who's sitting back here not communicating. They're um, in the shadows. They're only showing half of how they feel, possibly only communicating half of their truth. Is that you? Only communicating that they didn't want to they didn't want to put in the effort in the past. You know, maybe they told half of the truth in that. Maybe they said back then when they were so resentful in March, they didn't want to put any effort. But I see moving forward as you embody the feeling, as you allow yourself to feel this calm, collected, positive thoughts towards this connection, towards yourself, you'll bring it back together with a magnetism because of its 
optimism that you're you're now feeling when it comes to the thoughts the optimism that you're thinking is it your bright idea are you thinking that wow now I can see how my thoughts are affecting this dynamic and they play a part of it because you're moving forward you're moving you're gonna get this connection this mirroring this person that you see eye to eye with right now it's got you trapped you feel um, you're feeling like you're restricted as it comes to your vision. You can't visualize what you want, but you can feel it. So you're moving towards a calmer approach towards this feeling. And yes, I said approach, Scorpio. Your week, the 7th through the 11th, is about you. It's about the Scorpion, the death card, the transformation, you allowing yourself to shed what no longer serves so that you can become this better, more optimistic, more positive thinker so that when you think better, you create better outcomes in your reality. All right? I hope that you understand what I said with that message, Scorpion. It's very strong. It's very powerful. Your bright idea will come to you in Sagittarian season. If you don't know that season, it's December. It's around those busy holidays. Get excited. Just like we get excited about the holiday season, get excited for this to come, this bright idea. It will come to you. Why? Because you took the time to create better thoughts. You took a holiday or you took vacation time. You took time to heal. You took time away from what disappointed you to recognize what you could do not putting so much power on things outside of yourself and realizing that we ourselves create our realities. So, either way, I said a lot of things towards the end. I hope that you receive this message and allow it to benefit you in your highest timeline because I do see you getting there. And check me back next week, Scorpio, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.